and gals well went to the toronto reptile expo today and i uh, got some pickups so as you can see everything's kind of laid out right now but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you guys one by one uh what i picked up and uh we'll go from there okay guys this is one of the pickups uh we got today um i got two new reptiles and one two three four five six new tarantulas so uh, i'm gonna do the reptiles first because there's only a couple and then we'll get into the tarantulas anyways as you guys can see this is an iguana but it is a blue iguana uh just a little hatchling and uh he's got a really good temperament so far he's not warmed up yet but uh, as you guys most of you guys know i have a red iguana as well but uh, he's just a jerk and i got him when he was a little bit bigger I mean, uh, I've worked with him a little bit, but uh, he was pretty nasty off the hop. So, I don't want to say nasty, but just uh, defensive. A lot of tail whipping and uh, a, little, a lot of huffing and puffing, per se. But this guy seems pretty good. Uh, he's quite alert. Uh, a little bit thin, but, I mean, that's to be expected from shows, I think. And uh, I'm going to get him set up and get him in a, a nice enclosure, and uh, we'll see how he's doing. So, we'll move on to the next. Okay, so this is, oh, my light just went out, anyways, we still got some pretty good light in here. This is the second reptile pickup, this is a Honduran, or Honduran milk snake, it is a female, uh, she's absolutely beautiful, no, she's wrapped up on my tripod, but uh, most of you guys know I did a video uh, on a uh, coffee table slash terrarium, and this is what I'm putting in it, so... It's a huge terrarium. Uh, I wanted something that was really nice in there. Uh, I mean, all reptiles are really nice, but this has some beautiful colors. I was actually looking for a, an albino Nelsons, or a, uh, I was actually going to go with a uh, lacistic rat snake, but unfortunately they didn't have any. So I think this is a nice addition, and she'll look beautiful in there. So anyways, guys, on to the next. Okay guys, let's see what we picked up for tarantulas. Uh, I have two of this, this species. This is the uh, C. darlingi. Uh, you can't see them guys, they're very, very small. I think you can see one right here. Sorry, I can't, depth, depth perception is off again. But there's a little guy right there. Very, very tiny, maybe quarter inch. Um, I picked two of these up uh, because I love them. I have never owned these, but these are the... Uh, the rear horned baboon <clears throat> excuse me so I picked up two of them as you can see and the next one is I don't know if you guys can see that that's a uh, e marinus uh, phobopus marinus I believe well it is but I, I think it's pronounced a phobopus and this is the skeleton leg uh, I've been after one of these for quite some time they've been on my wish list. I don't know where he is. Let's see if I can get this lid off. He's gone. But he's down there. He's only about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, an inch. I think there's his abdomen right down right down here somewhere. Right around here. Uh, sorry for the camera work, guys. But uh, beautiful tees. Uh, they're known as the skeleton tarantula. And I'm hoping this is a female because they, uh, they're very striking. Okay, the next one is, again, I need to fix my autofocus here. Well, they got it labeled Mexican uh, Red Knee, but we all know it was known as the B. Smithy. Now it's the Brachypalma Hamori, or Hamori, I think it is. Um, there he or she is right there. Beautiful little tee. This is probably a two and a half inch. Uh, I guess it's still a sling or juvie. But uh, I, I haven't had one of these in a lot of years. I had them years ago. But uh, you know what? No collection is uh, complete without one of these guys or gals. And the next two are the same same species. I'm going to show you but guys. I won't be taking the lids off them because they are old world. Very, very aggressive. Very, very defensive. And actually, they're pretty good size. Um... See here, focus. Well, my camera's not working well, guys. Sorry. There we go. Labeled cobalt blue. That's the common name. Um, I think it was uh, H. Lividum. 
was the name of a couple years ago, but I believe they did have a name change, and I think it's uh, C something or C uh, Lividus, I believe it is. I'll have to double check. I just know it's cobalt blue, but uh, nice size. They're probably about four inches. Uh, very very defensive tarantula. They're uh, fossorial, which means uh, they're bur burrowers, meaning pet holes. Now this next one already had to go at me through the enclosure or through the tub. This one's a little bit bigger. I'm sorry you guys can't see it, but once I get them all set up, guys. Yeah, she can give me a threat posture right there. Once I get them all set up, um, I will show you them in their enclosures. There's a look at it there. Just stunning T. Uh, you see those blue, brilliant blue legs, and that's through a dirty uh, enclosure and also fogged up or humidity up. But yeah, I don't want to stress them out. Uh, these two, I believe, are wild caught. Well, I'm, I know they're wild caught. The guy I got them off told me, and I'm okay with that. But uh, the only thing is, I mean, they're a good size. They look like they're in need of a feed, and, uh, you know, I just hope they're they're okay and they settle okay. I did pick them up uh, a couple new enclosures, like what I got my uh, pokies in, or my pokies are going in and my Samopolis, my bigger Samopolis Cambridge So they're going to have uh, the dirt they need to burrow at least six inches, uh, but once they're in there, I'll give you guys a look at them. So anyways, guys, this is the first part of the video. Now i got to go set everybody up, and I will show you. Uh, once everybody's set up, I'll show you them in their new enclosures. So we'll be back. Alright guys and gals, this is uh, one of my new additions, Brecky Palma uh, Moray, uh, Mexican Redney. So I just set him or her up. This is a unsexed tarantula. Uh, I just set him up in, I believe it's a medium sized breeder box, water dish, hide, dry substrate. I give him a little plant up here and I washed this and so it's a little bit moist but uh, it's substrates bone dry just the way they like it so let's look at this one guys he or she did actually very well going into this enclosure didn't get hairs or anything uh, generally they're a really good tea but they can be a little bit hair kicky especially when they're young anyways guys let's move on to the next okay guys this is the blue iguana he's doing just great I had to do a little bit of moving around because actually I was gonna put this one in a 10 gallon and put it down on the lower shelf here but the lighting wouldn't have fit so I had to move my red tail into uh, an enclosure that didn't need uh, heat from the top that I can just use uh, a heat pad on the bottom to warm them up so anyways he or she is doing really well uh, I've already seen it eating its food here I got a basking spot here sorry guys I'm in the corner of the room here oh there we go that's better um, this is under its UVB bulb and over up top there is its basking bulb so as you can see over here, humidity is right up there. I just sprayed it down really good, 80%, and the thermometer is right behind there, just over 90. So probably a little warmer up there. So that, that's perfect for now. And I've been in and, of, in and out of the room tonight, so it's not as warm in here as it usually is. But he's a cute little guy, nice and alert for a hatchling, which is nice. Sorry about the shakiness, guys. I'm stuck in the corner. Anyways, guys, we'll move on to the next. Okay guys, I was going to leave these guys out, but I figured I better not. Uh, this is the three uh, tarantula slings. Um, the E. Moranus and uh, C. I forget the Darlingis. Darlingi. The rear horned baboons. They're fine in their little uh, pill vials or whatever they're called for now. Until they get a bit bigger. So, we'll move on. Alright guys, so this is the coffee table enclosure. Uh, that I did a video on, I guess it was a couple weeks ago. This is what the Honduran milk snake went into. Uh, I just added a water dish over here. A um, couple of the plants aren't doing so well. I think it's because of the heat, because they do have heat on the bottom. And I also have a, a height over here with a heat mat. So uh, I may have to switch a couple of these out, but that's okay. It's trial and error, and uh, I'll figure this out as I go. But uh, she's in here, uh, but she obviously burrowed. She was back here, and as you can see over here in the middle there, there's a hole. She burrowed down there and popped up again. So this is going to be a fun one. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, it's pretty much, I don't want to go in there and root out or root her out and disturb her or let her settle. And then uh, pretty much as I see her out, I will take this glass off and I will uh, get her out and handle her. 
Let me just show you guys some colors here. So there's green, red, another type of green, different blues. So it's pretty cool. So I mean you can set the ambiance of whatever you want. And you know you can leave it red and hopefully the snake will come out at night because they can't see that color. And you can uh, observe him or her. So anyways guys, this is just unfortunately you guys can't see her in here. I do have a thermometer in there. Uh, sorry. Yeah, but uh, I'll do an update on this tank and her and uh, we'll uh, check in on her again. But I just put the lid on and I'm already up to 80 on this side. And this is our hot area here for the most part, so uh, it's going to get warmer. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, this uh, substrate dried out really well. Oops, sorry guys. Um, I tried putting the lid on about a week ago and it, it fogged up. So this is the thing I was concerned about was I can't go with anything uh, with too high of humidity. And obviously something that doesn't uh, require uh, UVB. Because I didn't want big bulbs hanging in there and obviously animals can burn themselves so anyways guys this is just another little update on this enclosure and there'll be more in the future on to the next okay guys so this is the next day <clears throat> so i figured i'd get a shot of this table there's one of our dogs that's ike he's a bull mastiff most of you guys know i have a female bull mastiff too which is angel but this is the coffee table now that's a big table that dog is about 130 pounds you can see it beside a couch and a love seat <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. Try to get it from this side. I didn't uh, mention last night. I did vent this out. There's a vent there. I got a mess of cords there. That's going to go under the couch, uh, under the carpet, and then up. I do have a hole in the bottom of this enclosure that uh, I can come up from. So I vented it this side. There's my sensor for my lighting. And I also vented it on this side. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit better view of this uh, size-wise uh, in the daylight. Um, it's, it's cool. It's, it's very cool. And I'll tell you where I got it. I bought the table at a thrift store. Um, <clears throat> it was kind of, it was white. This is, uh, I guess that's an ivory to match that ivory up there. Um, I, it was white and all in here you could see where the seams were. It had a lot of nicks in it. The inside of it was white wood. Uh, I guess that's a pine or something. Uh, but I painted that black. And uh, it turned out really well, I think. <laughs> so I just want to give you guys a, an idea of what it looks like in the living room. And like I said, it's huge. The circumference of that table on the inside is 12 feet. I have 12 feet LED lighting going around the rim. Sorry guys, that's my bird. I have 12 feet of LED lighting going around the rim. And it's huge. And I think it's probably about two feet tall. So it's nice. It's round. Uh, I think it goes fairly well in here. Um, so yeah, guys, I just want to give you a look at it in the daylight in the living room. On to the next. All right, guys. So this is C. Lividus. Uh, cobalt blue. This is going to be number two. And they truly, truly live up to their reputation. Very fast. Uh, very aggressive. Uh, I'm generally don't worry about taking lids off, but for now these guys' lids are staying on. For one, I didn't start a burrow, and two, um, they're super super fast. And I'm going to show you guys this for a sec. During one of these totes, uh, as you can see, I got about I don't know seven or eight inches of substrate in there camera's messing up big time so I did put a, a water dish within a water dish so I can overflow it a little bit um, here's the other one right here guys I'm sorry I don't want to take the lids off these guys they're very very uh, fast very very defensive so as you can see look at that every time I pick this thing up in its um, cover where there are little uh, deli cup it was striking I mean you think pecan cerities are bad and you know what these guys are an old world tarantula uh, Asian I believe they are and uh, venom's quite potent but once I get settled guys I will get some better uh, footage of them I just want them to settle so 
anyways guys that is it for my cold or my collection sorry my uh pickups from the toronto expo reptile expo and you have to forgive me um as far as this video is concerned because i did a feeding video last night and i was up to about four o'clock in the morning uh i started editing and stuff and i'm on like two hours sleep in 48 hours uh it's like 1 30 in the morning here so very very tired uh lost for words meaning i can't put them together properly and uh i need to go to bed but anyways guys hopefully you enjoy the video and i will do some updates very very soon on all these guys all right guys uh, like I said, I did a f uh, feeding video. I haven't uploaded it yet, but um, that's going to be done. And I'm kind of having problems with my internet right now anyways. So this one's probably going to go up first because it's shorter. And then within a couple days, I will upload the feeding video. So anyways, guys, have a great day, great night, wherever you're at. Take care, guys.